Hey guys, Red Seven standing by, back for another episode of Clone Weekly, the series where I review every single LEGO Star Wars Clone Trooper. And today we have Commander Gui in his Phase 2 Kashyyyk armor. As you can see, he's the only trooper in the entirety of the show, or I think the movies too, with a chrome helmet, minus Captain Phasma, but we don't count that, because she's not a clone. He has this very, I think this is my favorite phase two commander that we have. Actually, I think he's the only phase two commander that we have. Anywho, his helmet has this nice printing. With the, It's kind of like chalked up on this side to show that it's kind of like scuffed. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but I really like it. It actually might just be me, me getting it scratched. The visor is actually in this light green, which I like, because I don't think it would have shown up if it was on black. Nice green, uh, green cheeks right here, I guess, and the button prep, uh, thingies. The helmet is a normal face, the a normal realistic style face, and frankly, I kind of like the old one better, but that's just nostalgia. I kind of wish that they started making hair pieces for more clone troopers, cause I think you could just make like a double mohawk for him, like they did for you, like the Mr. T head, Mr. the Mr. T helmet, and just make that uh, ginger, and that would have worked for him. So, the body itself has these nice, like, overall things. I don't know what these are supposed to be, but I like them, because it makes them unique. Has this very nice printing. Also, he's part of the 41st Elite, 41st Elite Corps, I believe. It's in this nice camo printing, and you can cut. You can kind of see the clone armor underneath, but not really. On the back, it has two instead of one of the uh, battle bombs or whatever they're called. Has this nice uh, the strap for the overalls. I think I don't know what these are supposed to be, but yeah, this nice printing on the legs because he's special. Per, uh, full green arms right here and that's okay because I think they're just completely green in the movie I don't remember but uh yeah we'll put this back I really like this figure and I think that if you just took off the helmet and maybe changed like the this part to the hands to white or something you could actually make this into like a military figure which I really like I think that goes for most of the 34 41st Elite Corps. So yeah, that's the end of this review. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye.